As a remodeling contractor, I've recently seen an increase in snow melting system installations. Safety and convenience are the two most popular reasons. When you consider safety, slip and falls are the second most common cause of accidental deaths in the U.S. each year. And statistics show that 80% of those are due to snow and ice. One bad slip and fall can ruin your whole day and more realistically your entire year. Installing a snow melt system can reduce chances of injuries, costly and lengthy recoveries, lost income, and prevent insurance claims and lawsuits. And think about it, no more shoveling, no more snow plowing, and no more using caustic snow melt chemicals. We recently looked at the warm-up electric snow melting mat system for a driveway application, asphalt driveway application. Warm-up electric snow melting mats are simple and less expensive to install, especially when you compare them to a cable system or a hydronic snow melting system. The main reason is they're faster to install and the, they come pre-installed from the factory already on a mesh mat with the three inch spacing. All you do is unroll the mat, place it where it needs to go and make the connections you're good to go. The mats are designed for and effective at melting snow on driveways, walkways, patios and stairs. And you can use it in an asphalt, concrete or paver application. The benefits of these mats is that it's an automatic system. It does everything for you. The mats connect to sensors and controllers that monitor the system and react to the outside weather conditions, turning it on or off as needed. The system basically heats up the paving material, which results in effective and consistent snow melting. I like to, I like to refer to these systems as they, they actually melt snow while you're sleeping. They do it for you. Some of the features of these mats they come with standard three inch spacing on a mat, which provides 50 watts of heat per square foot. That's gonna result in consistent, even melting across your melting area. They're available in two foot and three foot wide sizes and from five feet to 60 feet long. So you can custom design your system. You can embed these mats as deep as four inches deep and you can lay them out as tire tracks or side by side for full coverage. Some of the major benefits are they're easy to install, there's a single point of power connection, and they have easy to use controllers, automatic controllers. Consider this when you consider a boiler with uh, a, a boiler fired with glycol based hydronic system. I mean, it's just crazy how much money you'd spend on that. These mats can withstand contact with hot asphalt, and they're suitable for embedding under concrete or pavers. If you're doing the asphalt like we did, don't use a, a, a steamroller or a, a machine. Use a, a hand roller. It's highly advised. For electrical connections, on this sit situation, we used an outdoor controller, which has a built-in sensor on it, and it's designed to take temperature and moisture readings in the environment. The system is de designed for our 240-volt system, but it'll work and operate from 208 volts up to 277 volts. All electrical connections really need to be done by a licensed electrician. And it's important to note that not every house can accommodate an electric snow melting system. You may need to upgrade the system. For our situation, we needed 70 amps to run the snow melting system, so the electrician installed a 100 amp service to do this. You also want to check the ohms before, during, and after the installation and compare them to what's written on the label on the mats from the factory to make sure that the mat is not damaged. I have five tips for you guys that I think it would help you in this situation. Measure and plan the area to be heated before you purchase these mats and allow for obstructions and plan for where you're going to put the controller and, and the power source. Draw it out on paper first and work the kinks out on paper. Desi decide whether you're going to do tire tracks or melt the whole area and, and what the coverage are. The two, the two foot mats are perfect for tire tracks, the three foot mats more for snow melting, but you can mix and match. Don't overlap them or cross the cables. They can overheat and cause damage. Check the ohm resistance and the voltage throughout the installation, before, during, and after. And for installation under pavers, use landscape staples to hold the mats down. If you're gonna install with concrete and you're gonna do a pour, 
zip tie the, the mats down to a six by six mesh. They come in four by eight sheets that you can get at the lumber yard. This will ensure that you'll get even level coverage with the mat. You want to make sure that you place your controller or your sensors in an area that's open and not obstructed by you know trees, bushes, or overhangs and stuff like that. It doesn't matter whether you're design, designing a heated space for asphalt, pavers, or concrete. Warm up provides a system that gives you the right heat at the right time. It melts automatically for you. It's fast to install. It's considerably less expensive than a hydraulics, hydronic system. And probably the biggest advantage of all is the safety of your family and friends, either at your home or your business. That's a win-win in my book. I'm Rob Robillard. Visit aconcretecarpenter.com for more information on warm-up snow melting mats. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Take care.